Okay, so let's talk about systems of linear equations. I have an example for two unknowns and for three unknowns. Now, before we solve these systems, let me show you a little perspective of the two-dimensional and three-dimensional figure for this system. So I have linear systems and two unknowns. Uh, there are three outcomes for two unknowns. It could be with unique solution. They intersect. So line one and line two is intersecting. They could be no solution. Line one and line two are parallel lines. So they never intersect and therefore there is no unique solution. And for the third one, it's infinitely many solution. Line one is intersecting line two or line one coincides with line two. So definitely all the points on these lines will be their solution there. So let's have an example x plus 2y equals 8, that's the first equation, and the second equation is 3x minus 4y equals 4. Now, there are a lot of methods in doing this. I won't be using elimination method and substitution method. Instead, I'll be using the graphical method. So I have downloaded this Microsoft Mathematics. I'll simply put in the equation on this part, and it will automatically present its graph. So let's do that. This is the first equation. Let's copy and let's paste it here. Enter and then graph. There you go. So this is the graph of x plus 2y equals 8. Okay. Then followed by the second equation. Let's add one more. Enter, graph. And there you go. It shows the intersection of the two lines. So if I trace it, their intersection is somewhere around, let's enlarge that, trace again. It should be perfectly 4 and 2. Come on, show up. There. <laughs> it's not showing. There. 4 and 2. So therefore, x is equal to 4, y is equal to 2. So by graphical method, the values would be x equals 4, y equals 2. Now for no solution, let me present that in graphical form as well. So say for example, my first line is 3x minus 4y equals 4. My second line is 3x minus 4y equals, say, 7. Okay? So let's graph the second one because the first line is already in the graph. Let's graph this. Let's go to the graph. Add. Let me just copy this and place this in graph number 3. And this should be 3x minus 4y equals 7. Enter. Then let's see the graph. There, it's the pink line. So we are comparing the second and the third line, the green line and the pink line. This is an example of no solution because they are perfectly parallel lines. They never intersect. Okay. And for the third example or the third form, infinitely many solution, let's try the first line would be 3x minus 4y equals 7. And let me just double this equation, multiply it by 2, so I have 6x minus 8y equals 14. Okay, so let's place this on our equation. Let's go to equation, add another, and that would be doubled, so that's 6x minus 8y, and this would be 14. Enter. So notice we are comparing equation 3 and equation 4. That's our system. So if I hit this graph, okay, equation number 3, that's the pink line. And equation number 4, that's the black line. They are coinciding each other. So all points are their solution. So it becomes infinitely many solution. So that's systems of linear equation in two unknowns. Let's go to systems of linear equation in three unknowns. Okay, by graphing 
it should look like this so a unique solution should show uh, plane number one plane number two and plane number three and this is their intersection at this point for a no solution all the three planes are in parallel line and then for infinitely many solution they have this intersection plane one plane two and plane three have this common geometric figure it's a line and therefore it's infinitely many solutions so I have an example here this is in three unknowns so we'll treat this as equation one equation two and equation three let's try to show the graph of this lines first or on this of this plane first so this is equation one and let's go to three-dimensional because we are dealing with three unknowns okay so equation one enter let's see the graph there it's a plane this is your equation one let's copy equation two go to the graph add and then present the graph of equation two so as you can see the intersection is a line and then we add one more the last enter and then graph okay so it's it's hard to tell where is the intersection of this three planes so let me try to figure out if I can show it uh, let's figure that out probably somewhere on the fourth or the fifth quadrant of this but let's check this out using elimination method so I'm gonna show the solution of this system of linear equation in three unknown using elimination method so let's do that and here's the plan uh, this would be my equation one equation two and equation three so I'm gonna combine equation one and two the plan is to eliminate variable z so I'll end up with the fourth equation and then for equation two and three eliminate z you end up with equation five and after that combine equation four and five you eliminate variable y you end up with equation six and that would be the value of the x variable so let's start i'm going to combine equation one and two eliminate z so notice that this is two z and this is one z so in eliminating that using addition or subtraction you need to make them the numerical coefficient of the variable to be the same so if this is 2 this should be 2 so I'll simply multiply equation 1 by 2 so that this becomes 6x plus 4y plus 2z is equal to 4 and this would be my equation 1 equation 2 is 4x plus 2y plus 2z is equal to 8 that would be my equation 2 by subtraction we have 2x plus 2y this is 0 4 minus 8 is negative 4 so this is now my equation 4 the z variable has been eliminated let's go for equation 2 and 3 combine them so again we are eliminating z so the numerical coefficients should be the same so copy equation 2 so 4x plus 2y plus 2z x equal to 8 and then multiply equation 3 by 2 so this becomes 2x minus 2y plus 2z is equal to 8 this is equation 2 this is equation 3 by subtraction 4x minus 2x is 2x 2 minus negative 2 is 4 and that's y variable this is 0 and this is 0 so equal to 0 so I have equation 5 done and then we go to getting equation 6 or the value for x so that this is 2x plus 2y 
is equal to negative 4 this is my equation 4 and then I have 2x plus 4y is equal to 0 this is my equation 5 I'm trying to eliminate variable y but in this instance they have to be the same so the highest number is 4 this should be 4 as well so I'm gonna be multiplying equation 4 by 2 so this becomes 4 4 and this becomes 8 so this is 4 or this becomes 8 and then by subtraction I have 2x this is 0 is equal to negative 8 minus 0 is still negative 8 and then x now is equal to negative 4 okay and then we solve for y so we substitute x in equation say you can choose between 4 and 5 so 5 let's just choose 5 so I have 2x plus 4y equals 0 and then 2 times negative 4 plus 4y equals 0 this is negative 8 transpose this on the other side it becomes positive 8 and this is still 4y so therefore y is equal to 2 that is 8 divided by 4 is 2 so we now have the value for x and y so we have x and y in say equation let's go back to the original equations where we can substitute x and y and the simplest equation would be equation 3 x minus y plus z equals 4 so x minus y plus z equals 4 substitute x that's negative 4 minus substitute 2 plus z is equal to 4 so I have negative 6 transpose this on the other side that becomes positive 6 so I have 4 and this one is positive 6 and this is z simply z is equal to 10 okay so we have negative 4 2 and 10 uh, let's look at the graph it should be in that form so x is negative 2 I'm sorry negative 4 2 10 so that's negative 4 2 and then 10 so it's somewhere uh, somewhere here probably I hope it's here okay that's so hard to tell um, I don't have a tracing program for the three-dimensional but just to make sure let's check our solution so let's try substituting the value for x y z in equation 1 so again this is negative 4 2 and 10 negative 4 2 and 10 so that equation 1 you have 3 x is negative 4 plus 2 y is positive 2 and then z is 10 is equal to 2 so the left side should be equal to the right side so this becomes negative 12 plus 4 plus 10 and I have 14 minus 12 and that would be 2 so the left side is equal to the right side meaning our values the solution negative 4 to 10 is correct okay so we can write the solution in this form negative 4 2 and 10 this is x y and z coordinate there you go thank you for watching